Good morning, Crooked Gap Farm friends. It is the day after Thanksgiving. Slightly chilly this morning. Still plenty damp. We got a lot of rain over the days leading up to Thanksgiving. But there's a noise coming from the shed, reverberating off the concrete. What in the world? That's right, we got an air compressor. Let me tell you a little bit about how we got this roll air air compressor. If you've been following the channel for any amount of time, you know a couple things. One, that I have not had an air compressor, which is a very difficult and somewhat weird thing for a farm. And two, I've been looking for an air compressor. We've been selling a lot of stuff around the farm as I've been cleaning up, trying to raise money to buy things for the shop, one of which was a working air compressor. I have been shopping for air compressors. In fact, I put up a YouTube video, I'll put it up above my shoulder, whichever shoulder here. And the problem that I kept running into is that I went to the big chain farm stores, I went to the local farm store that's not a chain at all, I went to the small chain farm stores. They all sell the same air compressor and it's made by the same company. It's just labeled in different colors. And I just really didn't feel comfortable buying that air compressor, especially since it was still a $400 to $450 air compressor. So I looked at brands like Quincy and things like that, which then you are getting into $600 air compressors. And to be completely honest with you, the $400 air compressor seem expensive to me for something to fill up tires and really that's about it. Understanding, oh, by the way, that that's just what you have to pay for things these days. My hope was to be able to find something used. Well, that was difficult. And so I just didn't have a lot of luck finding things used until this one showed up. This is a Roll Air 5520 K17. I have no idea what that means. It's a good compressor and it was priced right. This is a thousand dollar compressor new and now I have an air compressor and it's pretty awesome because it compresses air honestly it's actually not that loud either but we don't have time today to mess around with air compressors the sun is coming out and we've got a trip to make of course we've got a trip to make we always have trips to make today we're going to get some more pigs from the same guy that I got pigs from at the end of October we're gonna go get some pigs from him this time we don't have to go as far he's coming to visit some family and so he's bringing the pigs with him we've got to get the green truck hook it up to the red trailer head down the road I just realized we're going Black Friday shopping for Hereford pigs. This is incredible. Next time you see me, we'll be loading pigs into the red trailer behind me. So we got nine good looking Hereford pigs back there. We picked them up and then I thought to myself, self, we are in the Des Moines area and I'd seen these racks on Facebook Marketplace. So I just messaged the guy to see if they were available. Let me kind of show you what they are here because you know if you've been following the channel that I'm trying to clean up the farm, lean the farm, organize the farm. And they've got these racks that they get supplies on. And my idea is to take and put maybe like a four by six skid on the bottom here and then I can set gates inside of these. And we are back on the farm. It is crazy how these days just get away from you, especially with the short days because it is 2.30 now, which means we've got three hours of daylight left. I've got a few things that I got to do. I think I need to grind some feed. Grinder mixer is there. Obviously, I got to unload these new pigs that we got. I have a flat tire on the red truck, so I need to use that new air compressor. Also, the red truck's battery is dead, so I need to jump the red truck. I need to feed some hay to the cows. This is just going to get a little wild here, so we're going to just start hustling, get done what we can get done. First thing we have to do is take these out. I'll just give you a quick order, and then we're just going to do it. We are going to take out the racks, unload the pigs by hooking up the hog cart to the 4010, put the hog cart away, get the air compressor, go out to the red truck, jump the red truck, pump up the red truck's tire, fill up the water tank, put the bale spears on the 4010, take a bale of hay out to the cows, move these racks, and then hook onto the grinder mixer, grind feed, let's go. like Keystone Cops trying to get those pigs off of there. Oh man, pigs coming on, pigs going off, me running around, pigs getting out, catching them. The reason I was so adamant on getting a compressor like this, a horizontal compressor, is because I very rarely have a flat tire right in front of the shop. So I want to be able to take it out to the pasture where I do break down. I can easily load the compressor into the loader, take it to where I have a flat tire. In this case, out to the cattle water tank where the red truck died.
here's what I'm thinking. We've got all the gates on here. This works beautiful. I do have more of these red ones, so I'll have to put those on. And I've got two more of these racks, so we're good to go as far as that goes. The reason that I want to put some boards underneath this, some 4x6s or 4x4s, something like that, with some lag bolts down through here, is because I just don't want this to sit in the mud and sink down and rot away. With the boards underneath it, it'll keep the metal off the ground a little bit. Then if the boards rot away, no problem, I can just replace them. But this is great. I can get under it with the spear. That way I can move it around. Like if I want to go out and set something up in the pasture, or if we're going to move them from back here and set them up in the lean-to of the shed, I can just pick it up move it around. This is awesome. I love this type of organization. I'm really getting into it. We still got a lot to do though, so giddy up. Leaning and cleaning the farm is not the only place that I'm trying to do it. I'm really trying to do it in all facets of my life. And I've got a very bad habit of coming up with a project that I want to do and then ordering the parts for that project and never getting to the project. So in the house has been sitting for quite some time. They're back there on the floor. Some speakers for our Suburban. The speakers in the Suburban are blown. They don't work. So I brought those out and my son and I are going to start working on this. I'm kind of going to leave it up to my son while I'm grinding feed, but I can hop back and forth to help him out. This is honestly just getting rid of some things that have been clogging up space in my life and putting them in a place where we can actually use them. Lean, mean, machine. That's what I'm trying to be. You know what I know how to do? I know how to grind feed, feed pigs. I know how to jump start the red truck and fill up tires and feed cows and water cows. All of that stuff, I know how to do. I do not know how to change a speaker in a Suburban. And every video on YouTube that I'm finding is for not my Suburban. I finally found one that tells me how to get the door off. But now the speakers that I have, they're nothing like the speakers that are there. I feel like I need to get a drill out pretty soon. Oh my things I get myself into. We are going to get these pigs fed, but I do want to say thank you so much for coming along on the ride with me today. It was kind of a hodgepodge day, but I felt like we got some good stuff done. I'm excited about the things we got done. I'm not so excited about going back to work on that speaker, but we'll see what happens. Give the video a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know what to do. Thank you guys so much. I really, really, really appreciate you all.